In today's video, we're diving into a crucial topic for all business owners, building business credit while saving money on taxes. And yes, it is possible through a service many of us may use, but might not be fully leveraging, and that's payroll management. If you're an entrepreneur, stay tuned as I break down how ADP's payroll services can be a game changer for your business. What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel where we discuss financial wellness, mindset therapy, and real estate. I love to share helpful business insights so that we can all be self-paid in the shade. First off, let's talk about my favorite topic, which is building business credit. It's such a vital part of growing your business and ADP's payroll service can help with this. By ensuring consistent and accurate payroll management, you're not just keeping your employees happy, but you're also establishing a solid financial track record for your business. And anytime you can build business credit while having your monthly expenses reported to major credit bureaus, it's 1000% a win-win. But before I go any further, let me state the fact that this is not financial advice. I'm simply sharing this information for educational purposes. With that being said, let's dive into the top five ways payroll services like ADP can help you save money on taxes. Numero uno. Accurate tax calculations and filings. Unless you like throwing money away, this is crucial. ADP provides precise calculations of payroll taxes, ensuring the correct amount of taxes is withheld from each paycheck. Yes, even when you pay yourself. This accuracy helps prevent overpayment or underpayment of taxes. While overpayment ties up funds that can be used elsewhere in the business, you should consider the fact that underpayment can also lead to heavy penalties and interest charges. ADP files these taxes with the appropriate authorities, reducing the likelihood of errors and late submissions that can result in more fines. Next, number two, staying updated with tax laws and regulations. Now this one can help you prevent your wardrobe from being entirely filled with orange jumpsuits. <laughs> Guys, as you know, with tax laws, especially payroll tax regulations, it can be complex and it frequently changes. ADP stays up to date with the latest tax laws and updates its system accordingly. Number three, maximizing deductible expenses. Now, payroll services can help identify and accurately track expenses that are tax deductible. For instance, Certain employee benefits like health insurance or retirement contributions, which we'll talk about later, can be deductible. Accurate tracking and reporting of these expenses ensure that businesses claim all eligible deductions, thereby reducing their taxable income, and we all know how important that is. And at this time of recording, it's currently November, which makes the next item on this list urgent, so listen up. Number four is year-end tax reporting and document preparation. Now, ADP assists in preparing year-end tax documents such as W-2s and 1099s. Now, accurate and timely preparation of these documents is crucial for both compliance and for employees to file their personal taxes, as you know. Now, this service reduces the administrative burden on businesses and helps avoid penalties for late or incorrect filings, which can be costly. And finally, number five, providing tax credits information. Now, payroll services may also give you heads up about tax credits and business qualifications, such as the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, the WOTC, for hiring employees for certain groups or credits for providing certain types of employee benefits. By leveraging these tax credits, businesses can significantly reduce their tax liability. In summary, a payroll service like ADP reduces the tax-related burden, ensures compliance with tax laws, maximizes deductions and credits, and ultimately helps business owners save money on their taxes. Guess what? All while building business credit at the same time. Now that you know how it can help you save money, 
Something you might not be aware of is that many states like California, Oregon, New Jersey, and Illinois are now requiring all employers with two or more employees to provide retirement plans. This is huge and here's why. Providing retirement plans isn't just about compliance. It's a powerful way to stand out from your competition. Think about it, guys. In a market where attracting and retaining top client is more challenging than ever, offering a solid retirement plan can give you the edge when hiring. But I know what you're thinking. Kelvin, setting up a retirement plan sounds complicated, right? Well, that's where ADP's expertise comes into play. They have a team of experts ready to walk you through the entire process, again, making it as smooth as butter. I wanted to bring on someone that could elaborate a little bit more. Um, so I do want to introduce to you guys my guy, Steel Porter. Um, Steel has been with ADP for several years. Anybody who were to sign up through ADP, whether it be my mentees inside of Green Skull Academy or even, you know, you guys, my subscribers. Right. So with that being said, uh, you know, welcome still. And if you don't mind, just introduce yourself to the audience. Appreciate that, Kelvin. Excited to be here. And what's up, everybody? I'm still um, like Kelvin had mentioned, I'll be working with you all closely. So if this is something that you find is going to be you know, an important aspect of your business to help scale and move forward, you know, I'll be your point of contact and I'll help you throughout the entire process. So really awesome program. We started at ADP just to expand our reach and continue to help small business across the country. Um, but with that, like Kelvin had mentioned, there's a lot of positives about using a payroll system for your business, uh, whether it's handling taxes, whether it's, you know, doing a little business credit building. ADP actually does report to Dun & Bradstreet. Um, so if you pay a service fee to ADP, that is going to be a trade line on your report. So all sorts of exciting things that can help you again and continue to build your business, your personal life. If you're going to be on payroll, maybe you, you know, have proof of income documentation, et cetera. So wanted to kind of just show you guys a little bit of what ADP can do, what the system looks like, how easy it is to use, um, and what it would look like if, you know, you were running payroll for your business. This really shows the scope of ADP's resources we provide to you and what you can use to elevate your business. Payroll, obviously, okay? Managing your people, HR, okay? We'll get into that, talking about things like employee handbooks, hiring toolkits, uh, zip recruiter, how do you find people, right? Things like that. Are your, your pay, you know, payroll tax reports gonna be right here, okay? So maybe you're working with a CPA, wanna get some things cleared up for your books, easy timekeeping maybe you're a business that you want to keep you know accurate hours of your employees whether they're clocking in with a punch card or even just on their mobile device right business insurance okay like business insurance uh workers comp things like that health benefits right even retirement as well okay so full scope of services not to say that you need to do everything right away to start but well, that's the beauty of ADP is we're going to allow you to grow and we have the right tools necessary to help you do that. Some of y'all have maybe never ran a payroll before, so I'm really just gonna start with the basics, okay? So we wanna run a payroll. You'll see right here in your dashboard, first thing is your upcoming payroll. It's gonna tell you the next check date and the pay period that you're paying on, okay? So let's, for example, we're gonna run payroll here. So the first screen that you're going to see is the payroll spreadsheet for your W-2 earners. Okay. It'll have their name. Okay. It'll have very specific. If you want it to show, you know, the worked in states, maybe you have people across different states, different departments that you're classifying and it'll show their rates and their hours. Okay. So you can pay them hours, you can pay them salary. And then if you need to denote any extra information like overtime, maybe you're a place that is a tipped establishment, et cetera. You see there's a whole slew of options a way that you can properly record wages and tips and reimbursements etc if you don't need all this we'll clean it up take it off that's fine but you know if you want to keep track of vacation sick personal hours all those things that you know you're probably very familiar with adp is going to allow you to do that okay. so once you have a firm grasp of, of you know just the basics here you've got your hours your salary um, let's see, Mr. Ernest here, they only worked 20 hours, okay? 
boom, it's going to change the hours worked immediately and it's going to calculate it as you continue the payroll. Uh, maybe Lorraine here, maybe she got a bump in her pay rate. Maybe she's getting 35 an hour. You can update that on the spot as well. And the system is going to notice these things like, hey, this is this a one time change or do you want to make this permanent? Maybe she's making 35 consistently. Let's hit yes. And then now, boom, it's done. A very, very intelligent system, easy to use. It's going to kind of keep track of some of the things that you're doing. OK, nice. And, and real quick, uh, still. So I see I know that you can uh, put the hourly rate. But if someone is like, if you pay them a set salary, instead of doing hourly, can you do a salary instead? Yep, 100%. So when you onboard your employees, one of the questions that's going to ask is, hey, how are they getting paid? Are they hourly or are they salary? So if they have a set salary, that's going to be put in direct onboarding. And so that's going to, system's going to know to pay that amount every time. So Mark and Helen right here, their salaries are already set, right? Their amounts are set. 1800 for Mark, 1500 for Helen. If nothing's changing, you don't got to worry about it. Just be like, oh, yep, that's right. Move on. And again, Perfect. just like anything else, completely customizable. If it's bumped up $100 or $1,000, you can make that change, you know, and you're good to roll. Good question, good question. Next screen for any businesses out there that are working with 1099 contractors. Same thing, right? You can check, you pay them flat amounts, um, you can pay them hourly amounts, you can track reimbursements, etc. So W-2s and 1099s alike, we can pay on the pay schedule. Cool. And real quick, guys, this is big from our real estate people, right? I work with a lot of real estate investors that pay contractors. So I love that you showed that because this enables you to be able to, you know, pay 1099 contractors and, you know, for tax purposes, be able to keep a good track record of what you're paying, who you're paying and how much. Yep. And it's huge, too, that you guys understand who's what. Right. So a lot of business owners I meet happen to misclassify their employees. So I have to say that that's any of you guys, but you know, that's some of the education I'll be able to provide too, is what does the IRS say as a contractor, right? You know, because sometimes you're trying to play the tax game and then you just get in a bunch of trouble. So we'll make sure that we go over that key, key difference of what's a W-2, what's a 1099, who's doing what. Last screen here is the preview payroll screen. This is the most important screen when processing payroll. Cash required, okay? This is what you guys need to know, okay? This is gonna be how much do I need to pay my wages and my employer taxes, okay? And this nice little spreadsheet is gonna break it down. So it's gonna say, okay, who who is getting paid? Got five employees, got one contractor, and it's gonna break them down. The hours and the salary that they worked, okay? It's gonna be their gross pay. So it'll show you here. Now, for more of the complicated stuff, right? What are the taxes, okay? They have to pay their social security and Medicare and you know unemployment taxes and things like that. That's gonna show right here. So we're calculating this, we're deducting it for you. So you don't have to think about this stuff ever, okay? So take out the taxes that the employees owe, any deductions, maybe there's a retirement plan medical benefits maybe some of your employees have garnishments like child support okay and they need certain dollar amounts per pay taken out we can help with those things okay so you can set it and forget it so after taxes and deductions that's going to be the net pay and that's what the employees are going to see on their paychecks their direct deposit hits their bank account okay these are those amounts right here and then the last column guys is the employer taxes okay what are you liable for to pay as an employer per employee, okay? So everything's based off wages. So that'll break it down in these totals down here so you can clearly see, you know, where is money going? How much are my employees paying? How much am I paying? Bang. So this cash required, again, is gonna be wages plus taxes, okay? And there's all sorts of reporting that we can share with you guys too that'll clearly lay everything out and it's available while you run payroll, a month after you run payroll, everything will always be there for your record. But after that, you're just going to hit approve. It's going to ask you one more time, hey, do you have it in the bank or no? And if you don't have it in the bank, don't hit approve, OK? <laughs> so nice little reminders like, let me just let me check, make sure I funded that account. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> ADP doesn't like NSF, so be careful. <laughs> but 
other than that success and it's that easy it's just a few click of the yeah. buttons Very some of easy. y'all probably only have one or two people on payroll and it might be the same thing over and over again you can just set it on autopilot at that point and it's just gonna know okay this is what we're paying on this day and that's it it's a very easy payroll processing guys the taxes are handled you don't have to think about this stuff let us do this for you and this is a lot of touch points with the irs and your local tax agencies that is not making you money okay it's just getting in your way let us handle that heavy lifting for you absolutely absolutely man I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I've made some mistakes tax wise, you know, as a new entrepreneur, it's really important to eliminate any unnecessary uh, stress or most importantly, Uncle Sam issues. Right. So let uh -huh. ADP take care of it. You just saw how easy that was. And thank you for uh, for showing that uh, still that. I Yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, when we meet, when we meet one on one, I'll be happy to dive further into exactly what those taxes are, what they are for your state. How do you even get set up with them? Those are things that I can help you. Right. Um, so, you know, if you have those questions, please reach out to me. You know, please go through, you know, Kelvin's link. I'll reach out and we'll we'll connect on that. Off the payroll, though, there's a couple other things that I think are super helpful about our system. One is going to be the onboarding process. I see a lot of, you know, my clients, they're not really sure what information they need to collect to keep accurate records of their employees. And so I just want to show you how easy it is to onboard an employee. So let's say, you know, you found a candidate, you interviewed them, you offered them the job. Okay. And you're like, okay, they're starting next Monday. I need to put them in the payroll system. Let me back up. Excuse me. So you got your homepage. Okay. You're going to go to people right here. Okay. This is where you manage your directory. Okay. It's for onboarding and your active clients as well. So we wanna add a new W2 employee and you get the option, okay? You can do all the onboarding yourself, which I think we make it easy to do, but if you want it even simpler, let your, let your employees onboard themselves, right? Like let's work smarter, not harder. You wanna send them an invite to fill out all their W4 I9 information, boom. You just need this basic info right here. And once that email's in there, it's going to send them an invite and it's like, hey, before your first day, you better have this filled out, right? So if you've got employees that can manage an email on a smartphone, which is not everybody, I know. So, <laughs> but for those who can, like this is a huge advantage, right? Again, we're not spending time doing things that, again, aren't revenue generating tasks. Okay? Say you do have someone who started the onboarding process and this will actually show you what percentage of the way they're through. So say they're 50, 60, 70% of the way through, kind of dragging their feet in the mud. You can actually go in their process and just finish it for them if you have that information. So very integrated system. Again, everything talks to each other nice and smooth. But yeah, I would say, I think this is one of our, my favorite things about our platform is how easy you know adding people managing information is for you and for the employee themselves with that i want to show one more part of our platform and that is our hr solutions so if i click on the human resources folder here okay, it's going to show you a bevy of resources available to you so you can have more you know tools at your disposal instead of maybe looking to hire an HR professional, which I think is good for your business, but those people, they're in high demand and the chances are you're not gonna win them over, right? They need a, a salary of 70, 80, $90,000. And who's to say in six months that they're not gonna take a $10,000 signing bonus and go to the business across the street. So instead of, you know, we wanna invest in people, but if we can't do that, what do we do? We, you know, we look at technology. So some of those things that we're talking about, I think one of the biggest things is the employee handbook. OK, typically this is something that, you know, you would give to your HR person and, you know, either they're super competent in the legislation or they get in contact with an attorney, pay a big flat fee, and then they got this book. And then next year you got to do it all over again. What ADP does, we make everything digital and we make everything seamless. So. There's a whole bunch of things that you can add to your company as far as 
you know, expectations, values, missions, logos, all that. But as far as all the actual legislation federally and to your state, ADP is going to update all the time. So it's going to literally walk you through step by step each section. If you need to fill something out, do it. We'll do the rest. And then you're going to hit this publish button in the corner here. Once you do that, employee gets an email that says, hey, you need to acknowledge this handbook. They click acknowledge. You get receipts of acknowledgement. Even if a law changes, the book updates and the employees get new emails that they need to acknowledge. This is a way for you to keep track of, hey, I know my employees have acknowledged these things. They know the expectations of the company and they they know the law, right? Or they've acknowledged the law. This is huge to protect you as a business owner because if, you know, people say employees are your greatest asset, they're also your biggest liability, right? And so if anything happens at the workplace where expectations aren't, you know, you guys aren't on the same page or they want to sue you for whatever reason, this is going to have your back. So being able to have this set, set it and forget it. Completely automated, digital, you can print it. Huge advantage to protect you in the future. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, employee handbooks is something that I think a lot of business owners don't think about unless you've worked in a corporate setting where you understand the importance of giving an employee handbook um, and the legal ramifications of it as well. 100%. And I know a lot of you might think, okay, well, it's just me, you know, it's me and my my spouse or my child, right? Maybe the child's on the business. That's fine. I understand that. But as soon as you hire one external candidate, things like this become really important because you are liable for everything. So really want y'all to understand how far ADP has you know, invested into our technology to give you the resources. I have a quick question for you. So yeah. I know a lot of people that's going to be watching this video, right? Are, let's say they are, they used to have a single member LLC, but they've scaled and now they've transitioned over to an S Corp, still a small corporation, right? But this will be their first time not only paying others which you've already shown us, you know, how easy it is to pay others on payroll, but how would I add myself to payroll? Yeah, it's a great question. And that actually makes me want to you know, provide a little distinction. So when you guys are your sole props and your single member LLCs, you don't need payroll, right? Like you don't have to have payroll. There are advantages if you'd utilize a payroll early in the game, like we've talked about, right? Business credit, okay proof of income documentation. Maybe personally, you guys need, you know, you need pay stubs to get a mortgage or other loans at the bank, right? So those are huge advantages. Um, you know, and then obviously all the other HR features we offer to help you scale your business. But for your question, Kelvin, so when you guys are transitioning to S Corp, right? You've been successful in the business. Now you're like, okay, how can I be strategic about my taxes? Once you transition to S Corp, you are required to be on a payroll. And so once you've done that, how do you add yourself to payroll? Yeah, very, very simple. So we're going to go back to that screen. OK, so we're going to go to the people. And then we're going to add a W2 earner. OK, so now you're going to do the same process, but for yourself. And instead, here's what you're going to do. You're going to do the onboarding yourself because it's, it's literally you. And this is going to walk you through every single step that you need to provide. OK, so we've got personal info, obviously your name, social date of birth. OK, it's going to ask you all the basic questions. And then you can see here on the left, it's going to break down each section. OK, so tax information. This is basically the W-4 form. OK, so how do you file your taxes? Are you you file a single? Do you file as married, filing jointly, head of household? any deductions or withholding from your federal taxes, even for your state, it's going to ask that. Okay. So you're going to fill out all this information, direct deposit information, employment information, payroll. Okay. Are you paying yourself on an hourly rate, uh, hourly wage or a salary wage? Okay. And then you'll be able to put that information in right here. Workers comp code, I'll help you guys with that. Don't worry, but <laughs> you'll figure out like, what is my job? Right, what's right. my role? Hey, what's my code? Oh, don't worry, guys. Um, 
earnings and deductions. Maybe you have a bit of a complicated payroll where you want to pay, you know, your life insurance out of your, you know, got disability, got medical, got retirement, you know, got garnishments. You've got some kind of interesting reimbursement. Like it's all here laid out for you to add this kind of pieces of information. So once you go through everything, you know, you've reviewed and you've completed all the information, which all well, this will be filled out, just hit done and you're in the system. And it's that simple. Now you've properly added all, you know, respective information that's gonna allow you out of your business to pay you personally as an individual. Uh, so all that tax you know, information is gonna be complete on both ends. Perfect easy peasy then you'll be added to the list of employees and uh you're good to go whether you choose to add yourself first or add yourself last <laughs> either way um still right. has done a wonderful job of showing us just how easy it is to run payroll add people to payroll and manage payroll really appreciate it kelvin yeah um, no really looking forward to meeting you all guys i would highly recommend please go to the link that kelvin provides you know i think he's really trying to, again, always provide an education and resources for y'all. And that's what I'm here to do is really just share that same sentiment, share education and resources. Even if this might not be something that you are ready for right now, just let's game plan what makes sense. What steps do you want to take to scale your business? And I'll be able to help along every step of the way. So if you sign up for ADP today, you can take advantage of the biggest year in promotions. We're talking about significant savings for your business, which Let's face it, who doesn't love saving money? So there you have it, guys. Build business credit, save on taxes, comply with state laws, and stand out as an employer, all with ADP's payroll services. So again, guys, I've dropped a link in the description below for you to check out ADP's services and be contacted by a specialist. And remember, there are specific year in promotions. Now don't miss this opportunity, guys. Give your business and your employees the boost they deserve. Hit that like button if you found this information helpful in any way. And don't forget to subscribe for more business insights. And of course, share this information with like-minded individuals. Until next time, guys, keep striving for excellence. Stay self pay in the shade. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of the day it is. See you guys on the next video.